I'm going to start our Mo Willems author study today. Um, I'm going to read you a book called Knuckle Bunny 2, which is written and illustrated by Mo Willems. Um, the characters in this story are actually based on Mo Willems and his daughter Trixie. This is the second book in a trilogy of the Knuckle Bunny stories. And in the first story, Trixie is just a baby and she has her beloved toy Knuffle Bunny that goes missing. In the second book, Trixie's a little older, she's in preschool, and another catastrophe happens with Knuffle Bunny. Um, the story is called A Case of the Mistaken Identity. What is so cool about Mo Willems' books is that he encourages readers to take his characters, which he draws so that um, simple enough so that anyone can kind of make a good redraw of them and create your own story based on his characters. The other really cool thing about this book is that the pictures, the backgrounds, are all real photographs. So um, he takes real pictures of different places and then puts his cartoon characters in the front. So that's something you could also try to do at home is take your own pictures from around your house or from around your neighborhood and then draw your own story in front of it. I'm really excited to read this book to you today, you guys, um, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Knuffle Bunny 2, A Case of Mistaken Identity, written and illustrated by Mo Willems. One morning not so long ago, Trixie took a walk with her daddy. By now, Trixie really knew how to talk. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to show Amy, and then I'm going to show Meg, and then I'll show Margo, and I'm going to show Jane, and then I'll show Leela, and then I'll show Rebecca, and then I'll show Noah, and then I'll show Robbie, and then I'll show Toshi, and then I'll show Casey, and then I'll show Connie, and then I'll show Parker, and then I'll show Brian, and then, and talk, and talk. Trixie was excited because she was taking her one-of-a-kind Knuffle Bunny someplace very special. Come on! School. Trixie couldn't wait to show her Knuffle Bunny to, Mrs. to Miss Greengrove and all her friends in pre-K. But just as her daddy kissed her goodbye, Trixie saw Sonia. Suddenly, Trixie's one-of-a-kind Knuffle Bunny wasn't so one-of-a-kind anymore. The morning did not go well. Knuffle, Knuffle, Knuffle. Nuffle. The afternoon was worse. When the school bell rang, Miss Greengrove returned the Knuffle Bunnies, and the day got better. Then, before she knew it, it was time to go home. Trixie ate her dinner, devoured her dessert, brushed her teeth, and tried to escape the mommy and daddy robots from planet Snurp. At half past bedtime, Trixie was tucked in, ready for sleep. But a few hours later, Trixie realized something. Trixie marched into her mommy and daddy's room and said, This is not my bunny. Trixie's daddy tried to explain what 2.30 a.m. means. He asked, can we deal with this in the morning? 
Trixie's daddy went to the phone. Before he even made it down the stairs, bring the phone rang. We have your bunny, said a man's voice on the other end. We have yours, replied Trixie's daddy. Arrangements were made. Trixie and her daddy rushed across the neighborhood. Trixie did not want to be late. Neither did Sonia. There was an exchange, and the Knuffle Bunnies were back where they belonged. I was so worried about my bunny, said Sonia. So was I, replied Trixie. Then they both said, I'm glad you got your bunny back at the exact same time. And that is how Trixie found her first best friend. Knuffle Bunny. Accepted, of course. The end. Epilogue. The next morning, both Trixie and Sonia rushed to school. The, fir the new best friends had a lot of catching up to you, of catching up to do. Do you want to play with my Knuffle Bunny? Sure. Do you want to play with mine? The end. <laughs>